Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to WSKI Channel 17 Weather Report, brought to you by 45 North. Check them out in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel, and make sure you stop in to WSKITV.com. Your weather for Wednesday to January 10th. Uh, summer temperatures are going to be a wonderful 22 to 26 degrees, and base temperature is almost a 30 degrees mark. Uh, summit winds are going to be pretty mellow from 15 to 25 miles per hour, and base winds hardly any at all. Mostly sunny skies throughout the day and should be increasing overnight, which leads into a potential um, snow mixed situation coming into Tuesday, and the temperatures will also going to jump up to almost 40 degrees, which is for some, a much welcomed a uh, relief from the cold in the past week, but at the same time, it's going to bring some of that wet weather, so we're not super excited about that. Summit winds going to be 30 to 45 miles per hour, and uh, base winds 10 to 16 with gusts over 20. Extended forecast on Friday, those showers are going to continue into Friday morning with temperatures up into the mid-40s, uh, and also into Saturday, snow and sleet back to snow again, highs around 27 degrees. Uh, sunny skies are going to come back out on Sunday, and the temperature is going to drop once again. The trail report brought to you by Birchwood Interiors for Wednesday, January 10th. We have 112 trails out there for you, uh, 40 of which were groomed last night. Uh, packed powder and hard packed conditions are currently out there. You'll find some good fluffy stuff as well as those beautiful groomers. And talking about groomers, we have Lower Timberline, Bridal Chain, and Tote Road, as well as King's Landing, Hayburner, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, and Spillway, Sluice, Lower Winter's Way, Candyside, Boardwalk, The Landing, The Purchase, and Snowbrook for that beginner terrain down in the center of the mountain. Over to the east side, we have Ramdown and Two Hall, as well as Whiffletree and Moose Alley. Uh, the conditions have been pretty good all over the mountain, as I'm sure you know if you've been out there. And if not, it's a great day to get out. The stomping grounds opens up today as well. 8.30 this morning, Sawduster, Snubber, and Skidway are scheduled to run, as well as the Mooscalator joining them at 9 a.m. Up to the middle of the mountain, Double Runner West will be running at 8.30 as well. And also joining them at 8.30, we have Skyline and the Super Quad, as well as Timberline scheduled to run at 9 a.m. As I said, with the winds today, it should be a pretty nice day up there, and be able to, the visibility should be pretty high this morning. King Pine and Whiffletree are scheduled to run at 9 a.m., uh, and that's going to be some beautiful skiing over to the east. Uh, as we said, the groomers have been out and all over the mountain. Down to the outdoor center, if you want to get in some cross-country skiing or snowshoeing, we have 70 kilometers of cross-country skiing available down there, as well as 12 kilometers of snowshoeing. Uh, make sure you call ahead for fat bike status, because because of the snow conditions or potential rain in the future, we'll have to see how that goes. The ice rink is currently open. As we all know, it's Children Week up here at Sugarloaf, so we have cookie decorating at 12 to 2 at the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. Family ski along uh, with lessons at 1 p.m. Uh, family yoga at 2 p.m. at the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel as well as an ice cream tasting and other fun events scheduled throughout the day. Well, if you want a nice cup of coffee or an espresso, stop into Java Joe's right on the Village and Main Street, uh, Sugarloaf. You can get a coffee bagel, um, other small treats right there at Java Joe's. Also, uh, the Arm Trail Snowmobile Club wants to make sure that you're out there and cautious on the trail with groomers out uh, daily, as well as making sure you know that the Stratton to Rangeley Connector Trail is currently closed. Uh, you can check us out at WSKITV.com or follow us on Facebook at WSKITV, uh, on Twitter, and on Instagram at WSKITV. Do you like answering trivia or you like to win cool prizes from Thule and Outdoor Research? Make sure you tune in this weekend to Watch and Win, January 12th through the 14th. We have uh, uh, trivia questions live on our show from 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then once again at 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tune in to Watch and Win, WSKITV.